have seen Slick Wagon Brown all over the country. I'm going to tell you something. This man is jacked. He's, oh. he's smart. He's a ring veteran. He, in my opinion, this guy can be virtually unbeatable. Oh, he's already shown himself to be agile, and you're right, he's a cut guy. Looks like he's got a tag team partner with him. The Bronx Thug joining him in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, in action tonight at Doomsday, the Worcester Armory, the Texas Outlaw. How are you doing? Doing pretty well. Thanks for uh, coming on the show with us. What brings you here to Worcester? Just to whoop some ass. Do you even know who you're going to be facing tonight? It doesn't or matter, it doesn't don't you interrupt me when I'm talking, first of all. Sorry about that. It doesn't matter who I'm wrestling. I'm from the state of Texas, and everything in Texas is growing big, if you know what I'm saying. I come here to whoop somebody's ass. By the time I leave this state, well, if you want to call it a state, looks like trash all over the place. I'm whooping anybody's ass, and I'm the man. You're lucky I ain't having a title shot tonight because I kill him and clip him. And don't you ever grab the mic when I talk again. Is it done talking? Can I grab this? Oh, what's that? Challenge motorcycle. Back. I know, we, have a, we have a motorcycle ownership group here. See him wink at you? I wonder how many other guys he winked at. Uh, I shouldn't worry though. This is Massachusetts. Uh, I think we're going to link you on the internet right up to all those motorcycle clubs. Oh, uh, here we go. I didn't say anything bad about motorcycle clubs. I think they're cool. Uh, I just think this Texas outlaw probably ate lead paint when he was a kid. He's going to break him in half. He's sitting right back in front. Slick Wagner Brown sizing up. Oh, yeah. The big man from Texas. Let me tell you something. This guy, as they say, he probably got chaw in his mouth. He done bit all four dick and chaw right now. Cause he good on Slick Wagner Brown. Watch Brown just chaw him up, throw him out. Maybe with any luck, they'll throw him in a cow patch where he get a rest. Oh, right. Brown himself seems to be trying to buy himself some time before this match gets started. Just limbering up, just. He had plenty of time to limber up before the match. He had time he could have been limbering up when he was insulting the fine men and women that work here at the armory by calling their business, by calling their building a piece of garbage. Well, no offense. I mean, I wouldn't call it a piece of garbage. It's the closest thing I've ever come to a dump. We're underway. We 
We got the commissioner over here. Great train in attendance. I bought a ticket. I bought a ticket. I don't want any lip. I got the stamp. I'm here. I should be in. You got the ticket. Did you steal this or did you buy it? I got a red stamp right there from the crook out front. They took 15 bucks from me. Not that that means anything, because I can buy you and buy the building. All right. Well, you better believe this. I want to tell you something, Commissioner. I think you're doing a hell of a job. You got a great promotion here, and I'm awful glad I'm just a fan. Great train, I'm becoming the new commissioner. Slick Wagner Brown bailing from the outside. As the Texas outlaw. Chase leaving the ring himself to chase right after. More shades of flare as the shots continue. Back to the ring now. Takes his outlaw following him in. A little bit of fakery. Look Wagner Brown now with the advantage. Right hand to the outlaw. Knock the taste right out of your mouth and the wind out of your lungs. Downstairs goes the outlaw now on Brown. The right hand, nice shoulder tackle. The slick Weimer Brown down a peg. See the outlaw going for the body slam. Power slam from the big man from Texas. Line sends Brown down. Let's see if we'll see a pin attempt. Brown will press apply for a count of two. This one's not over yet, folks. Doomsday live in Worcester. Takes a on taking me to the outside. One after the front start. Tries to become a little nuisance. Runs into a high leg kick from Snake Line with Brown. The fog is good for something anyway, leaving the clear of it inside. As we see a pin attack from Brown. Well, Doc, the commissioner and I just had a long chat. Um, he now understands that I'm a fan. I'm not part of the show. I'm just here to enjoy myself like you and the rest of these morons. So well, I appreciate you uh, leaving your seat at ringside to help us broadcast position to all the action. I, I, I love this. This is great. This is right up my alley. At least I don't have to look at their ugly faces. I can see their backs. It's, you know what? All these Salvation Army Memorial shirts and get a little nervous. I got a million dollar car out there. How's the Texas Outlaw? Oh, that'll wave Brown! Yes, sir! Slick Wagner! That's the man! Way to be in person, Johnny Fowler. I am in... Yay, Texas Outlaw! Yay, Texas Outlaw. How's that, all right? I'm cheering for both of them now. Calling them right down the middle, Scott. See the pressure applied to the back of the neck of the I Outlaw. And the thug. The thug's in there with the right hand. The, what, where is he? What's he doing? He's right in front Wait, of you. What do you mean? What's he doing? I, I, I'm i talking to you. How can I? I don't. Oh, he's over there with that bandana. There he is. Did I miss something? I see Wagner Brown trying to straighten this guy out and get him in the ring. Now look, he's trying to help him back in with his boot. Texas Outlaws trying to fight him off. Now, how's that for a neighborly thing? Well, one of the things I hope most, yeah! as you see a beautiful springboard leg drop from Slick Wagner Brown. I'm sorry, I just had, I, what can I say? He is the man. That was a beautiful springboard leg drop. Oh, good call. I think, I think a Texella had chili, and he was just coming off the uh, apron. Clear the air, you know what I'm saying? 
Wow, what, oh, please. The Texas Outlaw is gonna have to rally if he's gonna get back in this match. Whoa. Both competitors, if they don't watch out, this could be a double count out as the offense continues from Slick Wagner Brown. Let me tell and you. It hasn't gone unnoticed by me or the fans, the interference of the Bronx Club. Hey, let me tell you something. Look at that. Right there. Look, here it goes. Goodbye. Right into the old ring post. Oh, right into the ring. See that? What a great competitor Slick Wagner Brown is. He actually helped the Texas outlaw into the ring. Now, how many people would do that? I hope that the Worcester Sharks, when they have their season start, the officials have better eyesight than you. Wait a minute. <laughs> these are $2,500 glasses. I see perfectly well with these glasses. <laughs> Worcester Sharks? Worcester Sharks, the AHL hockey franchise, calls the DCU Center its home. Oh, here we go. A hockey team in Worcester. And oh, that will close by both men down. High impact, but Slick Wagner Brown didn't seem to get the form of that. He's doing his push ups now, showing off. No, he's not. When you're the best and you're the man. And away, Brown! Yeah, let's hear it for Slick Wagner Brown! See that, man? I, I, I don't know what this wrestling terminology is, but man, he's over. And he's also kicking the living st uh, 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 <laughs> stuffing out of. Uh, oh, he comes off the vest. And a boy, Brown! Now that's just uncalled for. That's inappropriate for a family show. Right underneath the chin. I don't know what's worse, the insult or the injury. Ah, uh, yeah! Oh, is that what you call a cow? Oh! And what's he going for here? About time now, looks like he's attempting a vertical suplex. I'm gonna tell you something though. I don't mean to interrupt you, Doc, but I'm gonna tell you something. The one thing, there you go. The one thing you don't want to do, and I've been around the Texas Outlaw, is get him mad. And you know what? I hate to say it, but I think Slick Wagner Brown has got the Texas Outlaw pretty well pissed off. Oh, he's wound up. As would you be if that penny of your clothing bit where the outlaw's best was Wow. Wow. The outlaw is first back to his feet after all the abuse he's oh. taken. That lands the right hand on Brown. Come on, ref! That's a close shit! Wow. And looks soft. He hurt himself on that shot, Brown. He's got the rope! No, the little Bronx guy is up there. The Bronx thug. No, the thug's on the apron. And he missed it. And right to the corner. Narrowly. Is that escaped. legal? Can you do that? He narrowly escaped the one of the most illegal moves you've seen all night. What he's trying to do with that throw. Got the body slam. That wall with good ring presence. Brooks were to hold on. Takes him down with the close. Lateral press now. It's good. Two. How quickly the tide can change in the powerhouse wrestling. And up to the top it goes. This the guy's going up. Action the Texas Outlaw. He lands the elbow. One, two. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! That, that away, free. Brown! Yeah! He's narrowly escaped. Snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. So they said. Did who from what from where? That's right. Sounded good. I like that. Look at that. There's still a ways to go in this contest. You see a shot. Her right hand. Right side and oh! The roll up. An attempted roll up into some sort of submission. I think the Texas Outlaw better tap. He just did. Did he tap? The 
Texas Outlaw has the great ring presence. Oh, come and on. He knew exactly where he was and he got to the ropes. He's going to break that by the count of five. You know what? I bet you he owns a Kentucky Fried Chicken franchise. He's chicken. Couldn't take it from Swick Wagner Brown. Well, you know, I got to give him credit. Now I'm going to give him credit. Because I give everybody credit. They don't pay I break their legs. But anyway, you know what? This Texas outlaw is coming back. He's he making, you know, he's not staying down. That's a sign of a. Thank you. Good to see you, my friend. Very resilient. And what is this showboating? They see from Snake oh. Wagner Brown. His right. chops in the corner. Up top of the fireman's carry. Slick Wagner Brown about to go for the ride. Yo! A tilt a whirl and he is down. This could be your match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you know Soon what? That would have been three, but the Bronx dog up on the apron took my attention away from the match. Holy smooth, holy smooth by the Texas Outlaw guy. Oh, oh, he caught the thug. What's he going to do with him? Now that he's got him, what's he going to do with him? Oh, look out. Drop it. Drop it from the top side. Brown. He's sitting right now for Phil Nelson. Phil Nelson is back. Phil Nelson back break and slam at that, ladies and gentlemen. Here's your match. The victory goes in the books for Slick Wagner Brown. A dying effort. Although it was going to two on one match, of course, we look at the Bronx Dug in the size, maybe a one and a half on one. I'll go with the one and a half, but you know what? I don't care how you do it, Doc. I don't care what it takes. But Slick Wagner Brown's got in the book is a win. There's a winner, Slick Wagner Brown. Not like that little half pint that's in the ring with him right now, the Texas Outlaw. Texas Outlaw is a full size man, the Bronx Dug is a and what's that? What is he doing now? Uh, he doesn't know. know how to leave well enough alone. Well, he's I think get he's the outlaw's dander up. He's choking him with his Right, he's trying to make him, you know, the ding-a-ling, the ding-a-ling. We got a ding-a-ling. That's what he's doing. Oh, did he? I heard the bell ring. Did you hear the bell ring? Impressive showing for the very agile and ring savvy Slick Wagner Brown. Number one. Outlaw will have to come back and battle another day. Not a happy man. I don't look the way to me. As you can expect, the crowd takes after a loss.